Hello, hello, welcome everyone. We are here, finally, finally, in the hardcore playthrough. This is going to be tremendous, right? This is going to be awesome. This will totally last more than one episode, two episodes. It has to. There's no way it's not, right? So, pretty much, I'm not playing a specific class here. And we're not playing on expert either. If I play on expert, I'd get one shot by like a modded enemy. But, we're here, normal world, hardcore character. All the other shit, yep. And we we just gotta survive, man. That's how it works. That's how it works. I played like one or two hardcore characters before. I died, most of them. So that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing you wanna see. I would go underground, but I'm not stupid. Uh-oh, bubble, bubble. Okay, so let's, right off the bat, let's start with this, okay? This is what we're gonna start with. Uh, we're gonna get the bubble popper mark one okay because this is a good that's a good starting weapon from cosmetic variety and we gotta let's sort our inventory here we want to make sure we are on deck we do have potions if i really need to use potions we got potions iron skin to be exact but what is the goal for this playthrough you may be asking i don't know if i'll do a full 100 percent playthrough but the goal this goal is set in stone right now be every boss pre-hard mode and the wall of flesh now if we somehow manage to get that far I will put out a straw poll acting if you guys uh, want me to continue or if you guys want me to start up a new entirely new playthrough but that is our goal set in stone right now every boss and there's another goal set in stone and that is get some gear from the aquatic depths but we won't prioritize that one obviously over the wall of flesh one but that one is there though so let's let's do this this should be very exciting sir I'm going to trap you in a box okay just because I care for your safety just because just because I care Scott I care for you man let me do this you gotta let me do this let me get this juice popping off uh, and then other things we get popping off let's go wooden armor so this works out does this have a set bonus Pretty sure it doesn't. No, no, it does. One, one defense. Okay, so we really gotta just watch out for nighttime. That's the main thing I'm scared about is nighttime. Stand the fuck still, Scott. Oh god. Oh god. Cut it down quick. Cut it down quick. Quick. All right, Scott. I saved you, Scott. I gave. I saved you from the demons. The demons outside. Now I want you to stay here for the rest of your life, okay? And have fun with that. So maybe something we can do in the beginning here. Thank God it's Halloween. We can cop us some uh, pumpkin shit. So we might be able to cop us some pumpkin gear on deck right away. And that would be nice. Pumpkin gear is a pretty good uh, upgrade to regular, you know, just like wooden stuff. Especially stuff we get this early on. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Why would I not rock this outfit? So our character here, I had already forgot his name. Nope, there's <laughs> there's no way to indicate his name. I forgot his name. I completely forgot this man's name. So yeah, let's get all those pumpkins on deck. And from there, we will see what we can craft. Ooh, there's some big ass trees here. I might need to cut these down right quick. All right, let's see if I can craft anything yet out of this pumpkin. Oh, I can make a pumpkin mirror. We win, it's over. Do I gotta make it an anvil? There's a possibility that I have to make it an anvil. I don't know. I see you, bubble. Uh, that or I just don't have enough. No, obviously. Not having enough would be a reason why I can't craft it. 27? Yeah, that's at least enough for, like, pants. Aha! Look at that. So let's get this, let's get this going slowly. Is there pumpkin, like, weaponry? Maybe not weaponry is the word to use. Uh, what is the word to use there? Weaponry. What was the word I'm looking for? Pumpkin tools. There we go. Tools like a pickaxe. I'm gonna cactus stuff while we're at it. Might as well. Only reason I'm grabbing cactus stuff is for the pickaxe, because the pickaxe has an overall better base speed. Uh, so that's always something you want to look out for. Boom. Let's get that pickaxe right quick. Oh, we can make the cacatar stuff. Boom. Pickaxe on deck is strong too. What else can I ask for in life? Who's making the brrrr noise? Chill out with that. 
And uh, while I'm at it, let's just make a bunch of uh, cactus throwing knives. Because these can come in handy. I'll get a couple more cactus out here and there. And then the sand, on the other hand, this probably won't come in handy that much. So for now, I'll throw it away. The slime. Get the hell. Get. 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 Oh no, it's one of these knives? It's like the ones that like disappear on contact sometimes. I don't know, it's weird. How come like a couple of them disappeared once they hit something, but then the rest of them are like, eh, we'll stay. More pumpkins. Hell yeah. I don't think I should go underground yet until I get like enough pumpkins and shit to make this armor. Because that would be, like I said, that would be a really good thing to have is some pumpkin armor. But I'm okay with rocking what we got right now. Probably wouldn't be safe to just go underground with what I got right now. But I'm down. Down for whatever comes when nighttime comes around. So let's let's keep on exploring the surface here. Alright, we ended up in the jungle. There's some silver here and some gold. Probably want both before I bail out. I don't feel like going to the jungle yet. It's going to be a good idea. Until I get decent armor and weaponry. So we're going to try our best to stay out of it. If anything like comes our way though, I'm bailing. Bailing quick. About to be out quick. I got these ready. Should install that hotkey mod. Should have did that sometime. <laughs> Whatever, it's all good. But let's get this native gold. Mm, young and native. That's how I like them. <laughs> Nighttime is coming. We gotta bail quick. We gotta bail quick. Ooh, pumpkin. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, I can't. Use oh, no. So there's a glitch sometimes. I guess using any, like, teleporting things. Apparently, I'm not able to use, like, any items when that shit happens i don't know why that's a glitch pretty fucking annoying though i have to like log in log out every time i teleport home it's not that bad oh shit this is terrible over here do i want to be in the snow biome good question let's see if i can just get across it really quickly just really quickly oh no come on get up oh my god come on bitch how do i grab on the first two times okay there you go. Uh, do I have anything to make me even faster? Like, I got the apple juice on deck. I got energized on deck. So we are going at a decent speed. But I want to go even quicker. Uh, oh, shit. If, this, if shit starts popping off here, I'm out. I'm out quick. So hopefully shit doesn't start popping off. I have high hopes that it won't. Because I'm not seeing any enemies yet. I will break pots as best as I can without really doing too much to go out of my way and break them oh God, here we go here we go a little bit of a oh shit get out of here get get shoot okay that's fine that is all good okay so boom let's bail let's bail quick we're almost out we gotta be almost out of this biome so my goal soon as uh, nighttime hits, go to that underground area right next to where Scott is, to the right of him. Okay, this direction to the right, there's a cave right, like right next to him, we'll go under there. But right now, pumpkin gathering time. See if I can make the pumpkin set. Cause having this pumpkin set will definitely help us out a lot. So that, that will just bring us to another level. It'll bring us to another level, at least for early game it will. So I'll try my best to get as much as I can for it. I think a couple more pumpkins and we should be good. Go ahead and get that. Get out of here, bitch. This, this stick, this is working out. This is working out here. I'm gonna favor these. Uh, yeah, I'll break it. Oh, it didn't drop anything. I'm pretty sure it didn't drop anything. Don't actually know. Okay, let's do this from ranged. Because I don't want to even tangle with an ant line and get stuck on some sand. That's like how you die quick. Come on. You got to arc these perfectly. Come on, bitch. Arc. There we go. Mandible would have been nice. A mandible would have been knife. All right. Nighttime has arrived. Hell has officially risen upon earth pretty much. I if I got a blood wound. Blood wound. Blood wound on my first night. That would have been terrible. Uh-oh, first zombie on deck? I see how much trouble we'll get from him. Oh, we're good, we're good. We're not an expert, so we shouldn't get instantly shredded by things. Which is what I wanted. People are probably be like, oh, why didn't you plant expert? 
You guys want like a one episode series? Then tell me, I'll go, I'll go restart this plan expert and go one hit by a modded enemy. If I were to die by anything, it's a modded enemy. That's where I feel like I would die. Not saying like, oh, modded enemies aren't balanced, but some modded enemies, they're not balanced. So let's head up here. Check this little, little last area of the surface for pumpkins. And let's see if we can upgrade our armor. What about down here? Yeah, there's more pumpkins. Oh, look at this. Maybe we can make a base. Oh, shit. Hey. Maybe we can make a base, like, under the dungeon. What is this? Never seen some shit like this. What the fuck, dude? What? What's going on here? I don't know what's going on here. Ooh. Shackle on deck? You know what would be scary to see right now? Demon eye. I don't want to see a demon eye. I hate demon eyes. So let's head to this cave. We'll go down this cave instead of the one that I said I was going to go down. Primarily because this one's closer. And look at the chest in this one. Ten times better. Ten times better than the other one, obviously. Alright, let's switch armor. Please tell me I can make this whole pumpkin set. It looks as so if I looks as if so I can make this whole set. Ten percent increased damage. That should be nice to have. That's ten percent increased damage just general in general. Uh, does not look like there's any pumpkin weapons or shit you can make. It's all good. Did not really need them. So now from here, what do we do? Maybe asking. Uh, we'll figure it out. We will definitely figure it out. Probably want to upgrade our gear. I don't know. I gotta break into here. Give me the fucking ropes. Might as well break that pot while I'm in there. Okay, more ropes. Oh, sweet. Dead end. What a great dead end. Alright, this is what we're doing. Fuck, that means I gotta re-log out of the game if I do that. Alright, you know what? We'll just dig down. I'm seeing night zombie down here. Maybe a good or a bad thing. I don't know. We will see, won't we? i throw this wooden armor away. We don't really need that. What I'm really scared about is if something comes down this hole. That's what I'd be terrified about. So before we get down here, I'm just gonna make a little, like areas I can stand if something comes down the hole okay we gotta kill this guy from distance cuz uh, these zombies are known for having pretty decently high defense decently high uh, let's do this okay let's do this hey man just gonna throw a bunch of cactus blades at you hold up I wanna hang from a rope to kill you I feel like it'd be the safest bet against him hey man <laughs> I'm just gonna throw knives at you. Uh, don't do anything. Don't do that. Don't do it. All right, we're all good to go. We're all good to go. Thank God for these knives. Let's go ahead and do that too while we're at it. Add the shurikens to our main weaponry. But yeah, like I said, this is gonna be like an any weapon play. There's no specific weapon I'm using here. Uh, I don't feel like using a specific thing because it means I'd have to go out of my way and can't make this a straight playthrough. But hopefully, if I remember, I want to add some a couple special effects to this series. Like maybe throw up like every time we beat a boss, you know, throw up like that boss on the screen, put an X on his ass, something like that. We'll see. We'll see what I can do. I should probably use these just because these are weaker and they're more uh, expendable right now. Like we can use all of them and get them back somewhat easily. Not the easiest thing to get back, but it's not the hardest thing. We just gotta go mine it. I guess we just have to go mine and then use like lead or iron to make shurikens, but shurikens right now, I don't, I don't feel like using iron or lead just to you know, get more shurikens, like fuck that. I got more important uses at first. What's going on over here? Huh? Why is there grass over here? you hiding some Arcalis? Huh? What's over here? This grass is interesting. Oh, we got a boomerang. We just got a fire, fire thing, whatever, stick of fire, wand of sparking. What's over here? Nothing at all. That's great. That is great. Can I can I get on get down? There we go. So yeah, let's equip the boomerang, I guess. Might as well. No reason not to. Uh and then let's sip on up. So there's gold over here. Let's get the gold. Getting a gold pick off pick off pickaxe right off the bat. That would be really, really fucking cool if we can do that. Oh shit. Hey. Um Don't ever do that again, okay? Alright, I think we're coming into a bigger cave here. 
Can I place a torch anywhere? There we go. Come into a bigger cave. Hopefully we can get some good loot. What we really gotta watch out for early game is traps. Cause that that would just not be a pleasant thing. I don't want to fight him. Get it like I see you. I don't want to fight him. What's the best way I can fight this guy? Cause some of the enemies from the juice mod they got some pretty decent amount of health. Especially the elementals they got a lot of fucking health. But let's see if I can fight this. I see you with ease. I don't want to see you. Hold up. Oh, there we go. This can work. This can work. We get some black lenses right right here, dude. Black lenses would be nice to uh make stuff with. Preferably my my mask. It's a nice thing to make. Let's not break this. Till I have a rope I can slide down. Alright, yeah, that worked too. My heart kinda just like stopped when that happened. <laughs> I'm gonna remove this shark statue. Main reason. I'm paranoid. I don't want sharks summoning in. I'm straight up looking at the floor. This is this is paranoia here. This is one of the fun things about playing hardcore anything. Or like one life anything. Permadeath. There you go. That's what I was looking for. You are always on your toes. And then when you get close to dying. It doesn't help your concentration. Or maybe it does. Maybe you feel even more obligated to be even more concentrated. Because you're like holy shit I almost died. I gotta pay attention more. Or pretty much playing with that mentality the whole time, I guess. But uh, can we make anything here? Let's pull up. I know we can make stuff with these. Can we make a summon? Hold up. Can we make a summon out of this shit? Can make the florist bloom. I know there's weapons we can make. Rose thorn. Oh shit, that does a lot of damage. You can get that till like the end of the game. Uh, what else? Red flower. What if I just type in flower? No, without this. Flower. Flowerific wand. Does magic damage. Uh. Can I see what this does? How do I do that? Right click. Alt click. Control click. I thought there was a way. There we go. You double click. Okay. That That's all? Once if I get rid of flower. And then do it. Okay. Iris. Maybe if we type in Iris. I okay. All right. I don't remember how to get the flowers, but there's wands. There's the Iris wand, right there. There's a tulip wand. Let me get a tulip wand. How do I get yellow tulips? I don't remember. I don't. Is it this? No, it's a platform. Fuck, dude. How do you get tulips? I need to look into this. I'm really interested to get a wand. Uh, yeah. I'll take some Argonite. Argonite's always good, aka silver. Probably not all of it though, because we are slowly getting like a fuck ton of gold. Speak about, you know, fuck ton of stuff. Let's craft some uh, better things right now, shall we? That seems like it would be a smart thing to do. When I say better things, let's get to crafting. Uh, a furnace would be nice. Hold up, wooden longbow, stone short sword. Why would I ever want to make a stone short sword? It sounds like it'd be slow. I don't know if I want to rock slow. Slow speed, yeah. How did I know? Uh, what am I doing? So I need torches, and then I need cobblestone to make a furnace. So let me get more torches just in case I need more. No, I did not. Okay, so bam, there's that. Let's place this. Smelt up. Yeah, sure, smelt up invar, might as well. Uh, and then smelt up gold. Boom. Smelt up silver. Smelt up this shit. Smelt up. Alright, yep. Smelt up one copper. And then from there, let's trash that bubbles. I'm gonna need bubbles. Actually, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see right now. Let us see right now. What can we use bubbles on? Okay. <laughs> let's turn this on. I like trash that. Okay, so. I uh, need to make an anvil now. Before I make an anvil. Ooh, we can make a yo yo. Can go ahead and make more apple juice. Apple juice is always good. So, anvil. Where is anvil? There it is. Was it like five? Five. How did I know? Can I make a golden pickaxe? Can I make a golden pickaxe? Oh my god, I can. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Golden pickaxe on deck? 
Metal Urgy Shield. Boy. Sure, yeah. Let's get the Silver Bull. Ooh, and it's armored. Dude, this is a great start. This is a great start. I feel longevity in this playthrough. I feel longevity. Okay, hold up. Here's our first heart crystal, too. Look at that. This is going good. This is going really good. Boom. First heart crystal on deck. Life is looking great so far in our hardcore series. Maybe this will last more than three episodes. I was I was thinking around like three episodes total. This series will last, but things are looking up. We're getting a lot of good stuff, and we're about to get our first gold chest, too, so that's even better. Go ahead and drink a shine potion. We do need to get start getting better weapons. So, we already got some really good here. What the hell just happened? Did some fly past my light? It went like really dark in my room for a second. Uh, let's see what I can use this for. Oh shit, I have to use it for those. So, oh shit, hey, how you doing? Uh, I need to get rid of some stuff here. So let's figure out what we can get rid of. Copper. Copper, I feel like we're not going to need right off the bat. So I'll get rid of the ore. And then I'll turn the rest of the cactus into knives. Might as well. Hey man, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, you don't take that much damage, do you? There you go, you take a little bit more damage from that. Boom. Get the hell. Get the hell out of here. I got to make a list of what bosses we need to fight. Because that is something that needs to be done. Uh... Just so I stay organized throughout the playthrough. And I know there's a mod by uh, Jopo. What's his name? Jopo Jelly? Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. It's a really good mod developer though. And I'm just completely forgetting his name. Uh, Jopo Jelly. I think that's what it is. But yeah, there's a mod coming out soon by him. Or it's out right now, but it doesn't really have all the mod support yet. And that mod actually has an in-game boss checklist. Which is really fucking cool. And I was going to get it, but then it was like, oh, it's not fully mod support. You got the rest of the mods. All the other mods need to add like a line of code or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Ooh, we got bombs. We can use bombs here. I'm sure we don't get anywhere near these bombs when they explode. This boy tried to get near those bombs. <laughs> Chill out there. Don't be suicidal. You got, you got so much to live for, slime. All right, we're getting a lot of enemies surrounding us. Uh, ow. That fucking hurt. It didn't really hurt that much. Okay. What I need to do is trash that. Can I... Is this a thing I can do? No? Alright, what about this? Oh my god, my inventory is so fucking full. Get rid of that. Okay, so this is what we're going to try here. Please don't get up here, Black Sun. Let's get my chest plate, and let's try and reroll that. Okay, that didn't do shit. Uh, so I place that down. We'll place a torch. What the hell? <laughs> Is that a water trap? Hey, chill out, man. Was that a water trap, though? They try to drop water on us? I see you, game. Uh, you know, I'll keep this. I'll keep this for now. No, not this. The water. Uh, get rid of the day bloom seeds. Okay, so let's see how we want to play this here. Let's get out... Where'd my rope go? There it is. I was about to say, where the fuck's my rope? That's important. I see the thorium ore right there. I don't really want it just by itself so i'm fairly full on inventory right now i get more gold more gold the better all right sir i'm gonna have to uh, escort you out of here as an escort you to your doom Whoop. let's get up over here okay there's a lot of thorium there why did i throw that that was my last torch might need a bail because i'm not riding on too much weaponry now Ooh, look at that jump. That jump was fucking clean. And no one can deny it. So, we need to find our next armor set. Because this armor set, yeah, it's doing us good. But we obviously want to start getting an armor set that will help us out. Probably a thorium armor set would be good. So maybe I should mine all the thorium. Speaking about mining, let's get to it. Okay, so, log back into the world here. Didn't use this shit. Uh, let's see here what we can start getting crafted i do want to start getting some good shit crafted uh you can come out now scott i don't really care if you die or not anymore just like defend me while i craft stuff okay that's really what i want you to do here let's go ahead and start flattening this area though because definitely gonna make our base here gotta make some more efficient houses as in houses that uh 
to get us NPCs rather than the houses that look nice. So let's get to that. Maybe not in this episode, in the next one. Because I'm feeling like ending off this episode soon. The premiere episode, we're just settling into everything. Should we take this shit out? Okay. Oh, we need to place our anvil and furnace down. So let's do that. Boom. Okay, so what can we craft? Flails. Amethyst short sword. That looks sweet. Uh, Probably don't want a short sword, though. That's the thing. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should. Oh, I know what we need. Here we go. This is what we need to get flowers. Right? Right? What? How does this work? I don't know how this works. I thought... Is this not how it works? Huh? Alright, you don't dig with a trowel. You just hit stuff and it gives you a chance. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, I was about to say, like, I was confused for a second there. And that's all you gotta do is just hit stuff. So, crisis averted. Look at that. We're getting them tulips, them purple irises. Beautiful. Beautiful. I really need to start storing stuff. Oh, my bad. I need to start storing stuff. My inventory is getting really cluttered. Uh, let's fill in all these holes. Let's make everything flat. As flat as we can. Boom. There we go. Perfect. Amazing. I love it. Nice and flat. Okay, so now we use these flowers to our advantage. Hold up. Let's get rid of this man. Let's put our gems and stuff in here. Valuable shits in here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Nice. Nice that that doesn't automatically stack, which is something I never got in Terraria. So my gems don't automatically stack. And then we'll put these chests over here. These will be our just like random shit chests for now. Oh, wait, hold up. We got more gems. Boom. All right, let's look into this recipe now. Uh, boom, I got this on deck. Which one does the most damage? Slow, weak, and confuse. Rose is what we want then. So we need one Wanda Sparking and a red rose. Which we got the red rose. We got the Wanda Sparking. We don't have the stars. That's the thing we need to get. So we'll probably wait till night. Go ahead and try and cop some of those. And boom, bada, bing. We should be set to go. Uh, what armor set should I make next? I wanted to make Thorium. Can we make Thorium? That's the question. That's the question at hand. Can I smelt Thorium? Probably not. Uh, da, da, da. Can I do that? Boom, I can do that. Nice. Shit, hold up. Oh, fuck. Yeah, loot all. Totally forgot how big this fucking chest is. Okay, there you go. Now I can throw all the random stuff in here. Uh, throw one of those in there. Throw this, 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 this. Actually, no. Let's place this. Place it over here. Uh, place that in there. Don't need these. Don't need the purple iris right now. Gills potion. Well, I'll just carry these all with me. Might as well carry the potions with me. So, nighttime. We're waiting for it. Uh oh, we got problems up in this. Slime sentry on deck. Hey, if you drop your. Oh, okay. So, nighttime is here. I think I'm actually gonna make a weapon here. So, I don't have to use this throwing, throwing boomerang boomerang of throwing uh we're gonna make lead hatchet can i make a silver one wasn't there a silver one i can make yeah where's the silver at or even if i can make a gold one it'd be good too can i make a gold one no no problem no problem no, i just gotta throw these over there help them out uh what can i make then i can make a silver one yeah sure we'll go with the silver one Boom, there's a silver throwing hatchet. Now, this thing is on a chain, meaning that I can do this now. Whew, look at that. Boy, you want some of this? Boom. Damn, this thing is awesome. Uh-oh, kunai novice. This guy here, he can, like, legit do some work on you. So, we gotta watch out a little bit. The hard mode version of this guy, this that guy will do some work on you. I got, like, insta-killed by one in the ranger playthrough. Look at that. Look at that. You like these uh, cactus knives, bitch? Ooh, it gave me some other knives. Hell yeah. All right, let's go on the hunt for stars. Hopefully, we don't get our ass beat looking for them. Uh, I'll put this, yeah, I'll put these like down here. 
So like just in case some bad shit goes down. But uh, let's go ahead, hunt around. Hopefully you don't run into too hard of enemies. Hey man, chill out. Chill with your running, okay? Nothing, nothing to rush for here. Oof. I did work on that boy. Come on, where the stars at? Aha! First star on deck. Two more. There's a fucking raven right here, boy. Let me get your raven ass. Get that weak raven Halloween shit out of here. I like that there's Halloween enemies, though. It's one of my favorite things about Halloween. I don't know if there's snow enemies, or not snow enemies, uh, Christmas enemies. Pretty much snow enemies in Christmas, but there's like three or four Halloween enemies, which is really cool. Yeah, let's head back over here. My torches. Hold up. My other torches, man. I want to make torches. Let's head over here. I'm going to go this way to find stars. I don't know. I'll feel safer going this way. Hello? What's going on there? Get out of here. Get out of here. Zombitch. Daytime has arrived. We have gathered a total of 16 stars walking towards the left. That's a good thing. Now, with these 16 stars, I can actually make the shit I've been wanting to make now. So let's get to it, shall we? Where's it at? Rose one. Boom. Oh my god, look at that. And I got an uncommon one. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't feel like I'll use those anymore. So let's get rid of those. Whew! Look at that. Boy. Boy, what does it do? Weaken your enemies? So that's like defense, I'm guessing. So let's go find an area where we can use this. Let's go to the desert. I'm feeling a little ballsy here before we end the episode. Let's go to the desert. See what's popping off. See what's popping off in that bitch. And then uh, in the next episode, we'll probably start getting to the boss fights. Uh, but I, like I said, I need to make that list I was talking about to make sure that I you know, stay organized while going through all the bosses. See, I don't have a lot of mana here. So let's make two mana crystals. And see how this works. Ooh, these are fucking clean. Their uh, velocity is crazy. Very fast speed, average knockback. Some material to make that like super one. Which is sweet. Alright. Like I said, we don't want to be cocky here. That's why we die quick. So let's uh, play this carefully. Hello? Who's down here? Antlion Charger on deck. Antlion Chargers, man. They can, they can swing. They can hit really hard and they don't take a lot of damage. So let's... Be careful here. Come on up, bitch. Come on, hit him. Oh my god. He's taking like no damage. Oh, there you go. Let's fire a bunch off into him. Alright, we actually killed one, surprisingly. Now, we probably shouldn't chill down here because I feel like we accidentally summoned in the Antlion Queen. And uh, if I do that, well, uh, might as well just say I'm dead. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We are done with the first episode of Hardcore Series. <laughs>